fought the dragon before Asgir did. She didn't bring back a tooth. She died fighting. That sounds better than getting a trophy from a beast you couldn't kill. Yes, I'm sure she died happy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Well, this is a guided tour, a little bit, of... Uh, of Holbrek. Good hunting. What I wanted to do in this episode is just, uh, I, I recorded a bunch of footage just running around Holbrook. I was working on, uh, collecting my, uh, collecting the points of interest, collecting, you know, skill points, uh, getting the, the waypoints, things like that. And I thought what might be kind of fun is to just have kind of like an audio tour of the city. Because as you can see by that conversation at the beginning, there are a lot. I collect guns. <laughs> There's a lot of really interesting dialogue to be found in the major cities. Uh, Divinity's Reach, uh, I've done, uh, did a little bit, didn't record, but the, there's some just some amazingly fantastic dialogues to be had in there that really help as far as uh, immersing you in the world. And and so, you know, you're going to see, you know, as we just run around here, we're going to see what kind of interesting dialogues we can find. And, and, you know, this would be a great, great one to just sit back. Uh, play in the background and and just listen to the wonderful sounds of the game because truly truly you know ArenaNet has done a fabulous job uh, with these with this game God the music is just so beautiful too Cool little uh, wolf in the sky there, right above the wolf lodge. It's a nice, uh, nice addition. Just gonna go ahead and turn the uh, music down here, so you can just listen to the actual noise itself. Some interesting little guys here in the wolf shrine. They're uh, apparently peeling to the wolf spirit. Yeah, nothing going on there. All right, let's uh, let's go up this way and see what we can find. Now, I'm sure if you just stand in one place for an extended period of time, you're going to definitely see you know, NPCs walking about. You'll hear the background dialogue, things like that. But of course, I'm just kind of running around. I want to explore the city and. Oh, here we go. With my kills, and I'm tired of being alone. I want to start a family. Your greatest deeds don't just honor the totems. At the next moot, you might even impress a bride. <laughs> so there you go. Great deeds, not not, not just for uh, boasting of moots. They're for catching the attention of a bride. Alright, let's see what else we can find here. Up for a challenge? You look as though you're doing well. I've joined a pack of warriors. We fight well together. Wolf's blessing upon you. May <laughs> he keep your pack swift and your blade sharp. Oh, there you go. So not all the Norn are uh, loner outcasts, you know. They, uh, they like to to group up as when it suits them. You can see the NPC walking off there into the distance. Again, this is just all part of ArenaNet's strategy of making the world vibrant and alive. Hear the sound. The uh, sounds like the pour of the waypoint there, just kind of humming gently in the background. Uh, let's go see what we can find over this way. Big giant moose. Because <laughs> you know, why not let moose run around your city? 
Alright, now this over here... I'm going to go back up this way a little bit. Because there's a waypoint. Looks like up, up this way. Can I make it? There we go. Yeah, there's going to be a waypoint up here that we're going to go ahead and grab. See if we can't find any other conversation. Tell me you do. I don't do that, kid. Puppets? No. <laughs> Tell me a joke. I don't do that, kid. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and head towards the Bear Lodge here, see what we can't find. We'll go back through the main entrance. You know, the merchants trying to sell their wares, general NPCs just talking. It's a good night to hunt. Well, exactly, because you know every night's a good night to hunt. Now you can actually get quite a bit of experience just from going and exploring the capital cities, 100%. It's just such a great feeling to the city. Got some char. Got a lone Norn standing over there by himself. Ah, let's head up this way. See what we can't find. I swear, he was wearing nothing but a helmet. He does that sometimes. <laughs> And they're not shocked. Okay. <laughs> now I'm sure, of course, you get the uh, implication there. Wink, wink. I gotta love it. Leaving it up to the imagination. just the sound of the footsteps, you know, as I'm running on the wood and stone and then, you know, out in the snow, you know, all of it has its own unique sound texture. This is the Raven Hall. It's a, as you can kind of see there in the mini-map, it actually is shaped like a raven. According to my information, that tomb lies buried beneath the ruins of Crocs Hollow. Hmm. Something there about being something buried beneath Crocs Hollow. Let's go ahead and follow this NPC a little bit. See, uh, see if he doesn't reveal some additional stuff for us. Don't tell me he's gonna walk through the wall. Oh, okay. He's just admiring the beautiful artwork. Now the artwork there on the wall is actually taken from the the concept art. Okay, so he's starting to path back here. Let's see what he has to say. Newt is a strong hunter. If he wasn't so in love with Yasmin, well, I'd drag him to my fire. <laughs> You heard rumors about some hag up in these mountains called the Iron Witch? No. But perhaps in your travels you've come across the story of King Jarlis Iron Hammer's treasure? According to my information, that seemed like us buried beneath the ruins of Crocs Hollow. Now oh, there you go, a little bit of Guild Wars 1 lore there. Talking about Jarlis Iron Hammer, the uh, leader of the dwarves. And a little I hint that there might be something. From Divinity's Reach. I met all the challenges of being a Norn author there. I hated that place. 
A pit of weakness, full of cushy seats and beds with two mattresses. I slept terribly the whole time. <laughs> All right. I don't know other dialogue. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and keep moving on here. But yeah, he also mentioned, uh, sorry, in that previous conversation, he mentioned there's a witch up in the hills, so maybe there's a dynamic event or something that we can go find related to that. Just a little tidbits, you know, telling you uh, what what's out and about in the world. And we're gonna go ahead to go ahead to Snow Leopard's Lodge here. God, these buildings are just massive too. Stay out of trouble. Nice thing too about the town, the cities, they offer those speed buffs in uh, certain places. Definitely something you're going to want to pick up. Helps you get around town a little bit faster. You know, as a warrior, if you wanted to do that, you could of course pop on a uh, war horn. It has a, some speed buffs on there, so you could use that to make your travels a little bit quicker. But the uh, nice thing here is that it's a uh, semi-permanent buff. It sticks around until you uh, teleport somewhere else. Some beautiful trees up here. Even in the snow. No, oh, we've got a uh, some statues of Jorah, it looks like. Jorah was the uh, one of the main Norn that you encountered in the uh, Eye of the North campaign. The uh, Norn definitely revere her for her uh, bravery and her spirit. And there's uh, monuments set up all over the place for her. Talking about some cursed ice, okay. <laughs> uh, if you just noticed there in the up, upper left corner of the screen, there was some snow that was falling off the mountains up there. Made a nice little splash. We're just going to head this way, see what else we can find. Norn drinking. Always a good time for them. Alright, we're going to go ahead and warp over here, see if we can't discover some more things. But we'll go ahead and leave you with that today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. As always, a like or subscribe is greatly appreciated and we'll bring you the next part of our tale tomorrow have a good one